folks this week. Bit of everything, really. It's been a, a week of um, contrast. Three days in Canberra where we attended the ALGA's annual strategic planning session. And it was a different session from the last few years. There has obviously been a noticeable change in the nation as we battle bushfire, flood, drought and the like. Uh, the, the issue around natural disasters and particularly fires is right up to the top of the pecking order now alongside our campaign to get 1% of federal taxation. The need for all levels of government to work together for better mitigation, for more attention to uh, the work done prior to fire seasons and for equipment to fight fires. Uh, we also took the opportunity whilst in Canberra to speak to the Deputy uh, Chief of the Commonwealth Government's Fire Recovery Task Force and we were fighting for Bundaberg, Gold Coast, Gladstone, Gympie, Ipswich, Lockyer Valley, Redlands, Somerset and Toowoomba councils who've missed out on the one million dollars five other Queensland councils got. They were promised the money but it's yet to be delivered and we made it very clear in no uncertain terms that we would fight tooth and nail to make sure those councils and those communities got their one million dollars, their fair share. The final matter this week has been the Olympics. Uh, earlier in the week we had a, a survey of mayors and uh, we asked people whether they supported or didn't support the Queensland and the South East Queensland Council bid for the 2032 Olympics. That followed a unanimous decision last Friday week of the LGAQ policy exec of those members that were present. Uh, clearly, there's overwhelming support for an Olympic bid. We accept some councils don't want to do it. We respect their rights, but the great majority of councils are behind the bid. And it was reassuring and fortifying for our president, Mayor Mark Jamison, who is part of the overarching uh, architecture, the instrument that's been set up to guide Queensland, South East Queensland's bid for the Olympics. He met with very senior IOC officials here in Brisbane this week and was able to demonstrate that despite the, the claims by Senator Pauline Hanson about opposition in rural and regional Queensland, that the overwhelming number of our councils, our mayors, our leaders were in support of the 2032 bid because of the great benefits it would bring not just to the southeast corner, not just indeed to Queensland, but to the, all of Australia. Thanks very much.